Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's 3D the Rap Star, aka it's the Benz Man. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at it's the Benz Man. It's I T S T H E B E N Z M A N. And I know what y'all are thinking just from the title. I went ahead and switched it up. Wait, wait, it was just so elegant about a week ago. But now it looks so different again. So this is not about, you know, which one y'all like better. Um, the elegant style. This is more sporty. So I'm gonna show y'all what I did uh, coming up next. So I went ahead and got some black 4Gs and I put the rose gold trim and then I wrapped it satin chrome by Hexus. But before we do anything and get deeper into the video, you know what we gotta do. Let's get some angles. I swear you got you on boy. I got a full tank of gas in my E-Class Benz I got the S600 through the AMG in Mashing up the block, they can't see through tents Why my G-Wagon gotta be so dipped? All I ever wanted was a brand new Benz So I could ride four deep, just me and my friends I used to be flat broke, now I got ends First thing I did was go buy me a Benz Look, I'm leaving, mashing this Benz all season Alright, so why did I change it up? Okay, one, the 4G brand I don't even want to say it was a good deal about, you know, what 4G autos start at. But I got 4G's weight. Somehow a plane or something always find a way to interrupt us. But let's get back to this beast. So what ended up happening was... I thought about it. I seen the four Giados. Four Giados still follow me on Instagram, and I haven't had a four Giados in a while. And then on a car like this, I feel like the best rim is for Giado, in which it feels, uh, it does feel different. So at first, wait, wait, wait. Let's just go back to the beginning before the four Giados is on rewind. Okay, so first I did the wrap. So I did this wrap because it's subtle. It still looks elegant. It basically looked like the color of my car. And then we did say we wasn't gonna put a wrap on in star status, but the reason why we did, the reason why I end up doing it anyway is because it's gonna protect the good looking beautiful color underneath. So I went satin chrome and just look how it looks. So, I mean, right here you can see the frost. So it's, it's really a chrome wrap, but it's a satin chrome wrap. So at times it looks gloss, at times it looks matte times it looks frozen it just depends so the sun is on this side if you can see that ice look in there right now take a trip to the other side see how the hue and the colors change but you can see them body lines real well so that's one of the best parts and that's what i like about it so it is a satin chrome so that's what we went with so why even change it up um they put the blacks next to the car and it just looked it so sporty so that's why I end up going with that. You know, the other look was real, real elegant, but I wanted to take it up just a notch and put something on there that was gonna change the look up a little bit. And so I am gonna end up rose gold in that and rose gold in the rest of the trim. I didn't know how the rose gold was gonna look, but I didn't want the black. And you know, the chrome on the hood. So if you see this, it's always not big enough to go in the one full piece. So they stretch it in the two. So at first I didn't even know how it was gonna look with the rose gold, and plus I never worked with hexes, so hexes has a little bit of a little bit of blemishes. But other than that, it's all right. Like in here, it's trying to bubble up. But other than that, it's all right. But I'm gonna finish out the rose right here, and then down there, I really honestly didn't know what it was gonna look like, but it looks good because it complements. Since this is silver chrome, this was a regular chrome. So I needed some offset, so I went ahead and did the mirrors black to match the rims. And I love these rims, but you know how the black wheels, they just get so, they get that brake dust and get everything on it uh, real fast. But look at the offset. If you stand right here, see the other wheels didn't really have this, but this is the luck of the trade in Forgiato. So you see this wheel, and then you can see how back the concave is if you, if you come out just a little bit. So I finally went ahead and went back with 4G Auto. So all the trim and down here, I mean, it's still the satin color. And everyone knows me. So everyone say, oh, S Coupe ain't supposed to be. I don't really care what it's supposed to be. Like I always say in my videos, it's what I like. 
this look, soon as I did this, soon as I put this on, a lot of people were commenting saying, oh, nice car. And then the blacks, and then another reason why I switched out and went with the blacks, because the blacks matched the Designo interior. So that was really played a huge, and the mirrors in the top. So that played a huge, huge difference. So this is really more of an upgrade, you know, showing off the car. It looks different during the time of the day, during different times of the day. Like, look, the gas cap even looked different. The door looks different. But it's just an amazing look. And normally, I wouldn't even get cars. I mean, not cars. I wouldn't get open rims like that. I'm not really a fan of open wheels like that, how they're open. But these wheels are the best wheels I can get. And these are the Technica S series. The Technica S line. Okay, so now that we kind of showed the car off. So this wrap was about anything chrome. You got to remember, it always started at 3K just for the material. Uh, 2 to 3K just for the material. Then another two or whatever for the install. So that plus the trim, then plus the wheel. So I'm already about what? I want to say like nine grand in. So the wheels was like upward of four grand and yes this is a one piece it's a one piece wheel this thing is gorgeous like i just the look like the further you go back like let's just keep going further back like just look oh like right there it's just look it's just a beautiful looking car because them wheels just made it so sporty that it just looks really really good now the car's been holding up really well i have been uh smelling a little bit of like smoke or something Looks like it's hitting the manifold or something, but it's not nothing to get too worried about. But it's crazy as I put the black wheels on, this car look more and more like an AMG GT. Put in the comments if y'all see that too, or is it just me? Like that long front end with the, with the, uh, with the, uh, what am I trying to say? With the gloss, with the gloss blacks. So I'm just loving this look, but it look like some leak is coming from, I want to say it's like from right over here. It's like a little bit like in here right where the cl was but i got three year warranty on the car so you know any problems like that is gonna get handled you know i didn't really know i didn't i never knew it actually says mercedes in the lights that's crazy front and back and this trim shout out to street image shout out to eddie at street image i didn't even know you can well i knew you could wrap this but he came through for me with these because this is what really sell it. And that's why I switched it up. So I know some people still going to say in the comments, I liked it better the other way, but it was so elegant. This 550, these body lines, I feel like it just looks better this way. Like not even with the rose gold, just with the black wheels in general, just them black rims, I feel like give it a certain look. Them black wheels just kind of set it off. They were just all black, but I rose gold the face just to give it a little touch. Rose gold to trim. Normally people will black out the trim, but I always see S63s. eyes oh, it's just so boring. Every car, every car want a chrome delete to black. So you know what? I'm gonna do rose gold. So this this wrap basically looks just like how my car looked anyway. And so I say it again. This is the Technica series with the faced wrap that was just all black, and this is wrapped to the F. You know we gotta wrap the F. So it's wrapped, and I like it because it's still. Like one of my bros said, it's still just a subtle look. The rose gold didn't even overdo it. It just gave it a hint of, it just gave it a hint. Like I feel like it looks more luxury than what it is now and more sporty than what it is now because of the black wheels. And so these are 22s, by the way, if anyone's asking, you know, I went to Street Image. If anyone is looking for a good place that does wraps is Street Image. Uh, you can find them on, uh, on Instagram. So a little characteristics about this wrap though, I gotta tell you, as me going back to the satin, you kinda can see like everything in it. And that's what I don't like. That's why I wanted to go back more to a gloss. You see just everything, every scratch. So I'm gonna probably end up ceramic coating it when I can, but I feel like them black wheels just offset the black interior. And not only that, the black grill. So just that stance alone to me right there is just, and one more thing we are planning to do, we are gonna drop it in the back. See, this is a factory setting where it sits because these are 22s and it's two ninety fives. So if you look, 
all that space. So when we drop it down just a tad, it's gonna really, it's gonna really sell that look. And I know some people could say, why not just go black? I didn't wanna go black. Every car is black. But look at it now, this thing, it just, it just looks crazy no matter what light you're in. The different lighting change. I hope you guys are getting a gloss on the 4Gs like the pop. I tried to put it right in the sun where, where you could kind of see it in detail. So yeah, this thing is crazy. I just wanted to bring this update. More videos coming because I need service done and to try to take care of that smell. But now that I got the body and wheels out the way, it's coming up next. So why even change it? I think I said it in the video. I wanted to get back to 4G because they still were following me. And just to be honest, I feel like that's a cheap way out. Just to be honest, I don't really get at people or say nothing to people with whatever kind of rims they have on their car. But I feel like if you got an S Coupe or some kind of Mercedes or some kind of, and you want to be up there, then I think you need some kind of 4Gs. But that's just me. I love that black grill, so I took the front plate off. I hope you guys like it too. And you know, if some people don't like it, you know, I'm not going to say that I don't care, but I don't really mind because why? Because you got to do your car how you like it. That's what life's about. You do stuff the way you want to do it and don't care what people say. But in person, this thing looked 10 times better. It was like the chrome wrap. This thing looked 10 times better. Everybody might say, or some people may think like, the other one, oh, so elegant, but you know, I want to have a, a little bit of a bold statement. So I hope everyone, you know, like it. More videos to come. We never see this car in motion. So we're going to try to do some rollers for everyone and get how it looks really on the freeway and stuff like that. Look how the gas cap look. Every angle is going to look different because it's just how it's off the sun. See, the sun's just right there. So I like this wrap because it's a chrome base with a laminate over the top. So just updating everybody, you know, hope everyone like it. Uh, leave some questions, which I want me to talk about in the next video. Signing off, Benz Man.